Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Birthday. Yay! Landon's turning two. We have a two-year-old in the house and we are gonna do construction themed party. So it's a beautiful day out. It is the middle of, well, like the end of January and it's supposed to be 80 degrees out. It's been raining a ton and this weekend is supposed to be gorgeous. We're gonna have an awesome birthday party. It's like, I think I put three hours long, but people can stay however long they want. I had this cute outfit planned, like, you know, like construction girl overalls. I had my blue jean maternity overalls that I was gonna wear with like a white shirt and look like a construction girl, but I just will be burning up in that. So we're gonna have to come up with a backup outfit. The guest list, who would have thought a guest list for a two year old would be 80 people. I have a very large family, but I think about 65 are coming. So we have a lot of burgers to cook and just so excited to hang out with like friends and cousins. Landon has so many cute little friends. So anyways, I'm gonna get ready because my goal is to be ready by 10 o'clock and it is already eight o'clock and we gotta set up, finish the food. Not that much, we have a ton of help, but anyways, let's go. All right, so I'm just printing off these cute little signs that I found. I purchased on Etsy, I'll link it below for like $3. I have these old gold frames that I used for Landon's first birthday and kind of just for random things. But honestly, they've been so useful for parties. I just switch out the signs. Nothing too fancy. I'm not like taking these to Walmart and printing them. That's what we're doing today, crafting it up. I love decorating. Oh shoot, got my sign. Of course, everything is construction themed. It doesn't even like appropriately fit in the frame, but that's okay. We have this back piece that makes the white border. So you just add that in, close it back up. And voila, we have a So this one says loading zone, take a treat. We have one that says dump gifts here. And these are also cute. Landon literally loves his trucks. And like, of course the dump gifts one is a dump truck. Dig in, grab a plate and a bite to eat. I'm still learning my tractors, but I think this is, I don't know. I call it a scooper. Not even quite sure what I ordered, but let's go through it together and see what we can put together for decorating for Landon's construction themed two year old birthday. Woo! So I think I'm gonna have to order a few more things because we have a lot more people coming than I anticipated. But for now, we'll just kind of go through this box and see what we find. I bought a few different outfits for Landon. This shirt is so cute. I wanna take like some pre-photos with him. I also got the cutest little sweatshirt because weather is showing that it's going to be sunny out, but if he gets cold, it does get cold here at night. This cutest little sweatshirt that says, God says I am, and then each tractor says like something cute. It says handsome or accepted or bold, and then it has a Bible verse under it. And I just absolutely thought this was adorable. Landa got Crocs the other day, and I bought these cute Croc decors, and I think Dan and I might deck our uh, Crocs out in Croc decor. Crocs. Caution tape, you can never have enough caution tape, so they say. I don't think they say that. And then we have just a bunch of little construction trucks. This, I think, is for the party bags. Okay, let's put one of these little construction boxes together. This is like the cute little party favor. Okay, how cute is that? It's a little construction toolbox. Okay, we have so many cute little things that go in these gift construction boxes. So let me just show you all the things we have. Cute little shovels, each kid gets a little tattoo of construction trucks. Of course, construction trucks. And then little wristbands. These are stickers. That will fill up the goodie bag of essentials. We have a lot of girls coming to this party. Landon has a lot of friends that are girls, so they're just gonna, they're gonna learn to love construction trucks just as much as Landon does because he's a boy and boys and girls can teach each other 
different things. So yeah, we're really excited for this party. All right, so I bought this giant bag of balloons in attempts that I was thinking I was gonna make a balloon arch. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I legit don't even know how to tie a balloon after it's blown up. So what we're gonna do is take just a few balloons out of here. I'm gonna take them to Party City. I bought a big number two balloon with some cute construction balloons. I'll have Party City blow them up and we're just gonna put little like threesomes or fivesomes of balloons around because balloons are so cute and a balloon arch would be adorable, but just absolutely unrealistic for me right now. Okay, welcome to my kitchen. So I love party planning, but one thing that I have to do to party plan is kind of draw out and lay out whatever area I'm gonna be decorating so that I kind of have a feel for like where things are going and on the day of, I have a little map. So that's what we're gonna do right now is draw a little map of the backyard and just an idea of kind of where things go. It also helps my husband or mom, whoever's kind of helping party plan with me uh, the day of, you know, not get in a fight or not have to ask a thousand questions as to where things go and they can just refer back to the map. So let's make that together. Okay, I went all out for my little map and I'm not the best artist, but I'm pretty proud of my little map. So honestly, this helps me so much when it comes to the day of just not feeling overwhelmed. And Landon's markers were out, so I was feeling like I should color coordinate things. So everything is color coordinated and we are gonna have a good birthday. So this is like a little layout of our backyard and I have all the different like activities. So we're gonna have a sandbox, a truck washing station over here, gift table, we have a barbecue area. So we're gonna do like a grill and hopefully like some cute tractor things with the chips falling out and construction hats for the chips. Over here is gonna be where cake stuff is, activities like coloring table and a water table, place for people to sit, and voila. Let me give you a quick little look into what our backyard looks right. like. Right now it's a rainy day, so everything's gonna be have to be cleaned up, but maybe you guys can see how it compares to my little drawing there. So this is that backyard area that I was talking about. You'll see it at the end of the video once like everything's decorated and hopefully it doesn't rain on his birthday. But this is the grill area. So I'm gonna have like construction hats filled with the chips and potato salad. We're gonna be grilling, put some caution tape back there. Back here's gonna be like the kid area. I don't know if you can see, but that's our sandbox. It's so nice to have a backyard. All right, let's get back to work because we still need to go to Dollar Tree, check on other supplies and finish up figuring out what kind of decor we have and what I need to buy last minute. food I wanted to keep it simple and I know this may not look simple to some of you but for me this was a step in the direction of not going all out I didn't want to have to do much prep work just throw it and go type of stuff so for the main meal we decided to do burgers we considered pizza but we just bought this house with a barbecue so it felt like we needed to use it and then I didn't go crazy with the sides literally the two bags of chips and the Costco potato salad everything we bought was from Costco as far as what we're gonna put like the paper plates and napkins in my mom gifted me this cute little basket set a long time ago that I use honestly for every party. So if you could find something that's reusable, this is like a great option. There's tons of options out there. So I'm just gonna put the plates in here and silverware in here. And then it has this nice little tray it sits in. Of course I got the cute party plates. Obviously that package is gonna be more expensive. So I just got plain yellow plates to go along with it to have some extras and we'll just kind of intermix them and people can, I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. It's just a plate and it's for the pictures, really. But uh, yeah, so if you're looking to go a cheaper route, you can kind of intermix them. So we'll just kind of stack these here. For dessert, I did get slightly creative, but still tried not to go all out. I forced myself to not buy one of those expensive cakes from a bakery. I bought a Vaughn's chocolate cake and decorated it myself with simple truck toys and some crushed Oreos to signify dirt. I also used the crushed Oreos to put on top of dirt cups. All kids love pudding, so I made a classic staple kid dessert with chocolate pudding, 
dirt, AKA crushed Oreos sprinkled on top and then just put one of the worm gummies on top of that. We did have a lot of people at the party so I baked a small batch of boxed cupcakes and used grocery store frosting and that was it. Honestly, store-bought items taste so good, so why stress myself out by cooking everything from scratch? Lastly, I made sure to have some kid-friendly snacks like goldfish and fruit pouches because let's be real, kids eat snacks all day long and usually not burgers, so that's that. Can you say happy? Say happy birthday. Happy. Birthday. Birthday. Yay! Landon's turning two. So we got like trucks over there that we need to take outside and get everything set up. We need to clean up the inside so some kids could play in here. Yeah, yeah. Tractors! Yeah, yeah. We're gonna put tractors outside. Yeah. Thankfully with all my steps, we actually don't have that much to be prepared uh, like to do this morning. So we have lots of hands. Um, we, my goal is to be ready by 10. The party's at 11. We got lots of stickers, truck stickers. And so we have a lot of helping hands. We have my in-laws, my parents, of course, Dan and I, and there's really not much stuff to do with all the things we prepared. Plus, like I said, I was trying to go semi-simple with this party. So let's get going and ready to have a happy birthday party.